Imagine waking up every day feeling full of life, bursting with energy, and ready to take on the world. Now what if I told you that this amazing feeling is already inside you, just waiting to be unleashed? That's right. You have a special kind of energy that can change your whole life. It's called spiritual energy, and it's like a superpower that most people don't even know they have. Think about it for a moment. Have you ever met someone who seemed to glow from the inside out? Someone who always had a smile on their face and a spring in their step, no matter what life threw at them? That spiritual energy in action. And the best part? You don't need any fancy gadgets or expensive courses to tap into it. Everything you need is already right there inside you. But here's the thing. Most people go through life never knowing how to turn on this inner light. They feel tired, stressed, and stuck, not realizing that the key to feeling better is literally at their fingertips. It's like having a shiny sports car in your garage, but never learning how to start the engine. What a waste, right? Well, today, that all changes. I'm going to show you how to rev up your spiritual energy and take it for a spin. Get ready to leave those feelings of being drained and overwhelmed in the dust. It's time to feel truly alive again. Now, you might be thinking, okay, this sounds nice, but what's the big deal? Why should I care about my spiritual energy? Let me put it this way. Ignoring your spiritual energy is like trying to run a marathon on an empty stomach. Sure, you might make it a few miles, but sooner or later, you're going to crash and burn. When you don't pay attention to your spiritual energy, life can start to feel like a never-ending uphill battle. You might find yourself feeling tired all the time, even after a full night's sleep, getting easily annoyed by little things that never used to bother you losing interest in the hobbies and activities you once loved, struggling to connect with the people around you, feeling like you're just going through the motions day after day. Sound familiar? If so, don't worry. You're not alone. Millions of people are walking around with their spiritual batteries on empty, and they don't even realize it. But here's the good news. It doesn't have to be this way. When you learn how to boost your spiritual energy, it's like flipping a switch inside yourself. Suddenly, those everyday challenges that used to wear you down become opportunities for growth. That mountain of work on your desk? You'll tackle it with a smile. That difficult conversation you've been avoiding? You'll handle it with grace and ease. But it goes even deeper than that. Tapping into your spiritual energy can help you find your true purpose in life, improve your relationships with friends and family, boost your creativity and problem-solving skills, increase your overall happiness and life satisfaction make you more resilient in the face of life's ups and downs. In other words, learning to increase your spiritual energy isn't just about feeling good in the moment. It's about transforming your entire life from the inside out. It's like upgrading the operating system of your soul to the latest version. And trust me, once you experience the difference, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. All right, so we've talked about how important spiritual energy is, but you might still be wondering, what exactly is this spiritual energy thing anyway? Don't worry. I'm going to break it down for you in simple terms. Think of spiritual energy as the fuel that powers your inner self. Just like your body needs food for physical energy, your spirit needs its own special kind of nourishment. This energy is what connects you to your deepest self, 
to other people and to the world around you. It's the spark that makes you feel truly alive, a sense of peace and calm, even in stressful situations, feeling connected to something bigger than yourself, a clear sense of purpose and direction in life, deep empathy and compassion for others, a natural flow of creativity and inspiration, a strong intuition or gut feeling about things, disconnected or out of sync with yourself and others, lack of motivation or direction, easily overwhelmed by life's challenges, difficulty finding joy in everyday experiences, a sense of emptiness or that something's missing in your life. Now here's an important thing to understand. Spiritual energy isn't some mystical force that only special people have access to. It's not about religion or believing in any particular thing. It's a natural part of being human, just like your emotions or your thoughts. Everyone has spiritual energy. It's just that some people are better at tapping into it than others. Think of it like this. Your spiritual energy is like a muscle. If you never use it, it gets weak and flabby. But if you exercise it regularly, it grows stronger and more powerful. And just like physical exercise, working on your spiritual energy might feel a bit uncomfortable at first. But stick with it. And soon you'll start to see amazing changes in your life. The great thing about spiritual energy is that it's renewable. Unlike your phone battery that needs constant recharging, your spiritual energy can actually grow and expand the more you use it. It's like a well that never runs dry. The more you draw from it, the more abundant it becomes. But here's the catch. While everyone has access to this incredible source of energy, not everyone knows how to tap into it. It's like having a treasure chest buried in your backyard but not knowing where to dig. That's where the techniques and practices we're going to explore come in. They're like a map that will lead you straight to that buried treasure. Now, you might be thinking, this all sounds great, but how does it actually work in real life? Well, let me give you an example. Have you ever had one of those days where everything just seems to click? You wake up feeling refreshed, your morning coffee tastes extra delicious, traffic flows smoothly on your way to work, and you breeze through your to-do list with ease. That's what it feels like when your spiritual energy is flowing freely. Or maybe you've had the experience of helping someone in need and feeling a warm glow inside afterward. That's your spiritual energy in action, too. It's that feeling of being deeply connected to others and to the world around you. The beauty of spiritual energy is that it touches every aspect of your life. It's not just about feeling good, although that's certainly a nice bonus. When your spiritual energy is high, you'll find that your relationships improve. You'll have more patience, empathy, and understanding for others. Your work becomes more fulfilling. You'll approach tasks with creativity and enthusiasm. Your health may improve. Many people find that boosting their spiritual energy leads to better sleep, less stress, and even fewer physical ailments. You'll handle challenges better. Life's ups and downs won't throw you off balance as easily. You'll feel more authentic. You'll have a stronger sense of who you are and what you want in life. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. This sounds too good to be true. If spiritual energy is so great, why isn't everyone talking about it? Well, the truth is, many people are talking about it. They just might be using different words. 
whether it's finding your passion, living your best life, or being your authentic self. These are all different ways of describing what happens when you tap into your spiritual energy. The reason it might seem new or unfamiliar is that our modern world often doesn't put much emphasis on spiritual well-being. We're taught how to take care of our bodies and our minds, but spiritual health often gets overlooked. It's like we've been trying to run a three-legged race with only two legs. But here's the exciting part. Once you start paying attention to your spiritual energy, you'll start noticing it everywhere. You'll see it in the smile of a stranger, in the beauty of a sunset, in the satisfaction of a job well done. It's like putting on a pair of glasses and suddenly seeing the world in vibrant color for the first time. And the best part? Unlike many other aspects of life, your spiritual energy is completely within your control. You don't need anyone's permission to work on it. You don't need to wait for the perfect time or circumstances. You can start boosting your spiritual energy right here, right now. In the next sections, we're going to dive into some practical ways to increase your spiritual energy. These aren't complicated rituals or hard-to-learn techniques. They're simple, everyday practices that anyone can do. But don't let their simplicity fool you. These methods are powerful. They've been used by people all over the world, from all walks of life, to transform their lives from the inside out. Remember, increasing your spiritual energy is a journey, not a destination. It's not about reaching some perfect state of enlightenment. It's about gradually opening yourself up to more joy, more peace, and more fulfillment in your everyday life. It's about becoming the best version of yourself, not by changing who you are, but by uncovering the amazing person you've been all along. So, are you ready to tap into your spiritual energy and start living life at full power? Great! Let's dive in and discover the incredible potential that's been inside you all along. Trust me, once you start this journey, you'll wonder how you ever lived any other way. Your future self will thank you for taking this step today. Let's get started. Have you ever stood in front of a mirror and really looked at yourself? I mean, really looked? If you have, you might have noticed something interesting. The mirror doesn't just show you what you look like on the outside. In a way, it also reflects what's going on inside you. If you're happy, your eyes might sparkle. If you're tired, you might see dark circles. Well, guess what? Your spiritual energy works in much the same way. Think of the world around you as a giant mirror. Everything you see, hear, and experience is actually reflecting what's going on inside you. This is what we call the mirror principle, and it's a powerful tool for understanding and boosting your spiritual energy. Here's how it works. The energy you put out into the world is the same energy that comes back to you. If you're constantly feeling negative or angry, you might notice that the world seems like a harsh, unfriendly place. People might be rude to you. Things might always seem to go wrong. But is the world really out to get you? Or is it just mirroring back your own inner state? On the flip side, when you're feeling positive and full of love, you might notice that good things seem to happen more often. People smile at you more. Opportunities seem to pop up out of nowhere. It's not that the world has suddenly changed. It's that your inner world has changed, and the outer world is reflecting that back to you. Now, this might sound a bit strange at first. You might be thinking, are you saying that everything that happens to me is my fault? Not at all. 
The mirror principle isn't about blame. It's about understanding the connection between your inner world and your outer experiences. Think of it like this. Have you ever noticed how your mood can affect the way you see things? If you're in a bad mood, even a beautiful sunny day might seem gloomy. But if you're feeling great, even a rainy day can seem full of cozy charm. That's the mirror principle in action. Your inner state is coloring your perception of the world around you. The great thing about understanding this principle is that it puts you in the driver's seat of your life. Instead of feeling like a victim of circumstances, you realize that you have the power to change your experiences by changing your inner state. It's like having a remote control for your life. But here's the important part. The mirror principle isn't about pretending everything is fine when it's not. It's not about forcing yourself to be happy all the time. That's not real. And it's not sustainable. Instead, it's about being honest with yourself about what's going on inside you and then choosing to shift your energy in a positive direction. So how can you use the mirror principle to boost your spiritual energy? Start by paying attention to what's showing up in your life. Are you constantly dealing with difficult people? Are you always running into obstacles? Instead of getting frustrated, get curious. Ask yourself, what might this be reflecting about my inner state? Then, try this simple exercise. For one week, make a conscious effort to put out positive energy into the world. Smile at strangers. Think kind thoughts about people, even if they annoy you. Look for the good in every situation, no matter how small. At the end of the week, notice if anything has changed in your experiences. You might be surprised at how quickly the world starts to mirror back your positive energy. Remember, using the mirror principle isn't about being perfect. It's about being aware and making conscious choices. The more you practice, the more you'll see how powerful your spiritual energy really is. You'll start to realize that you're not just a passive observer of your life, you're the creator of it. Now that we understand how the mirror principle works, let's talk about one of the most powerful tools you have for boosting your spiritual energy, your thoughts. That's right, those little voices in your head have a big impact on your spiritual energy levels. Think of your thoughts as the seeds of your spiritual garden. Just like a real garden, what you plant is what will grow. If you plant seeds of negativity, doubt, and fear, guess what kind of spiritual energy you'll end up with. But if you plant seeds of positivity, love, and hope, your spiritual energy will bloom and flourish. Now, I know what you might be thinking. But I can't control my thoughts. They just happen. And you're right, to a certain extent. Thoughts do pop into our heads all the time, often without our conscious control. But here's the secret. While you might not be able to control which thoughts show up, you absolutely can control which thoughts you choose to focus on and believe. It's like having a radio in your head that's always playing. Sometimes it plays happy songs, sometimes it plays sad ones. You can't always control which song comes on, but you can choose which station to listen to. You can turn up the volume on the positive thoughts and turn down the volume on the negative ones. So how do you start cultivating more positive thoughts? Here are a few simple techniques. Catch and replace. When you notice a negative thought, stop and replace it with a positive one. For example, if you catch yourself thinking, 
I'm no good at this. Try replacing it with, I'm learning and improving every day. Gratitude practice. Start and end each day by thinking of three things you're grateful for. This simple habit can dramatically shift your thought patterns towards the positive. Positive affirmations. These are short, positive statements that you repeat to yourself. Things like, I am worthy of love and respect, or I have the power to create positive change in my life. It might feel a bit silly at first, but stick with it. You're basically reprogramming your mind. Mindful observation. Pay attention to your thoughts without judging them. Just observe them like clouds passing in the sky. This can help you realize that you are not your thoughts. You're the one observing them. Reframe challenges. Instead of seeing problems, try to see opportunities for growth. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this situation? Now let's be clear. Thinking positively doesn't mean ignoring real problems or pretending everything is perfect. It's about approaching life's challenges with a constructive mindset. It's about choosing to focus on solutions rather than dwelling on problems. And here's something really cool. Science is actually backing up the power of positive thinking. Research has shown that positive thoughts can boost your immune system, reduce stress, and even help you live longer. It's like your thoughts are giving your body and spirit a big energizing hug. But remember, changing your thought patterns is like building a muscle. It takes time and consistent practice. Don't get discouraged if you find yourself slipping into negative thoughts at first. That's totally normal. Just gently guide yourself back to positivity. As you practice positive thinking, you'll start to notice some amazing changes. You might find that. You feel more optimistic about the future. You're better able to handle stress and challenges. Your relationships improve as you start to see the best in people. You feel more confident and self-assured. Your overall mood improves. All of these are signs that your spiritual energy is increasing. You're creating a positive feedback loop. The more positive thoughts you have, the more spiritual energy you generate, which in turn makes it easier to have positive thoughts. So, are you ready to harness the power of your thoughts? Remember, Every positive thought is a step towards higher spiritual energy. It's like you're building a staircase to a brighter, more energized version of yourself. And the best part? You can start right now with your very next thought. What will it be? Now that we've talked about the power of positive thoughts, let's dive into one of the most effective ways to cultivate those thoughts. Mindfulness and meditation. Think of this as your spiritual energy recharge station. Just like you need to plug in your phone to recharge its battery, mindfulness and meditation plug you into your inner source of spiritual energy. But what exactly are mindfulness and meditation? Don't worry, it's not about sitting in a lotus position on top of a mountain, although if that's your thing, go for it. At its core, Mindfulness is simply about being fully present in the moment. It's about paying attention to what's happening right now without getting caught up in worries about the future or regrets about the past. Meditation, on the other hand, is a practice that helps you develop mindfulness. It's like a workout for your mind. Just as you might go to the gym to build your physical muscles, Meditation helps you build your mental muscles. It trains your brain to focus, to be calm, and to observe your thoughts without getting tangled up in them. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. I can't meditate. My mind is too busy. 
or I don't have time to sit around doing nothing. But here's the thing. Meditation isn't about emptying your mind or doing nothing. It's about learning to observe your thoughts and feelings without getting caught up in them. And the good news is, you don't need hours of free time to do it. Even a few minutes a day can make a big difference. Here's a simple meditation technique you can try right now. Find a comfortable position. You can sit in a chair, on the floor, or even lie down if that feels better. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. Feel your belly rise and fall with each breath. Now, simply pay attention to your breath. Notice the sensation of the air moving in and out of your nose or mouth. When your mind wanders, and it will, that's totally normal. Gently bring your attention back to your breath. Do this for just five minutes to start with. You can gradually increase the time as you get more comfortable with the practice. That's it. Simple, right? But don't let its simplicity fool you. This simple practice can have profound effects on your spiritual energy levels. As you practice mindfulness and meditation regularly, you might start to notice some amazing benefits. You feel calmer and more centered, even in stressful situations. Your mind feels clearer and more focused. You're better able to handle difficult emotions. You feel more connected to yourself and to others. Your intuition becomes stronger. All of these are signs that your spiritual energy is increasing. It's like you're clearing out the clutter in your mind, making more room for positive energy to flow. But mindfulness isn't just for when you're sitting with your eyes closed. You can practice it anytime, anywhere. Try bringing mindful awareness to everyday activities. When you're eating, really taste your food. Notice the flavors, textures, and smells. When you're walking, pay attention to the sensation of your feet touching the ground. When you're talking to someone, really listen. Notice their facial expressions and tone of voice. The more you practice mindfulness in your daily life, the more you'll tap into your spiritual energy. It's like you're turning up the volume on your inner wisdom and turning down the volume on all the noise and distractions of the world. Now, I know meditation and mindfulness can feel a bit strange at first. You might feel restless or impatient. You might worry that you're not doing it right. But here's the secret. There is no right way to meditate. As long as you're taking time to turn inward and pay attention to your inner experience, you're doing it right. Think of it like learning to ride a bike. At first, it might feel wobbly and uncomfortable. You might fall a few times. But the more you practice, the easier it becomes. And before you know it, you're cruising along with ease, enjoying the ride. Remember, meditation and mindfulness are not about achieving some perfect state of bliss. They're about getting to know yourself better. They're about creating a little bit of space between you and your thoughts and feelings. In that space, you'll find your spiritual energy waiting for you. So, are you ready to plug into your spiritual recharge station? Remember, even just a few minutes a day can make a big difference. Your future self will thank you for taking this time to nurture your spiritual energy. Let's get started. Now that we've explored the power of positive thoughts and mindfulness, let's dive into one of the most powerful tools for boosting your spiritual energy. Gratitude. Think of gratitude as a magical magnifying glass. When you look at your life through it, suddenly all the good things become bigger and brighter. But what exactly is gratitude? 
Simply put, it's the practice of noticing and appreciating the good things in your life. It's about focusing on what you have rather than what you lack. And let me tell you, this simple shift in focus can work wonders for your spiritual energy. You see, when you're grateful, you're literally changing the energy frequency you're operating on. Instead of tuning into the not enough channel, you're switching to the abundance channel. And guess what? The more you tune into abundance, the more abundance you'll see in your life. Now you might be thinking, but what if I don't have much to be grateful for? Here's the beautiful thing about gratitude. There's always something to be grateful for, no matter how small. It could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee in the morning, a comfortable bed to sleep in, or the ability to breathe freely. Every morning when you wake up, before you even get out of bed, think of three things you're grateful for. They can be big things, like your health or your family, or small things, like the soft pillow under your head. Really feel the gratitude. Don't just list things off mechanically. Take a moment to truly appreciate each thing you're grateful for. At the end of the day, before you go to sleep, do the same thing. Think of three things you're grateful for from your day. That's it. Simple, right? But don't let its simplicity fool you. This practice can be transformative. Here's why. First, it trains your brain to look for the positive. The more you practice gratitude, the more your mind will automatically start noticing good things throughout your day. It's like you're rewiring your brain to tune into the positive channel. Second, gratitude puts you in a state of abundance. When you're focused on what you have, you naturally feel more abundant. And remember the mirror principle we talked about earlier? When you feel abundant, you attract more abundance into your life. Third, gratitude boosts your mood and overall well-being. Studies have shown that people who practice gratitude regularly are happier, less stressed, and even healthier. It's like gratitude gives your whole system a feel-good boost. But here's the really cool part. Gratitude doesn't just make you feel good in the moment. It actually changes your brain over time. Scientists have found that regular gratitude practice can increase the production of dopamine and serotonin, the brain's feel-good chemicals. It's like you're giving your brain a daily dose of natural happiness. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. But what about when things are really tough? How can I be grateful then? That's a great question. The truth is, Gratitude isn't about ignoring the difficult parts of life. It's about choosing to focus on the good, even in the midst of challenges. In fact, practicing gratitude during tough times can be especially powerful. It can help you stay resilient and maintain a sense of hope. Even if the only thing you can think of to be grateful for is that you made it through another day, that's enough. Remember, every little bit of gratitude counts. As you make gratitude a regular part of your life, you might start to notice some amazing changes. You feel more content and satisfied with your life. You're better able to handle stress and challenges. Your relationships improve as you start to appreciate the people in your life more. You feel more optimistic about the future. Your overall spiritual energy increases. All of these are signs that your gratitude practice is working its magic, multiplying your spiritual energy. So, are you ready to become a gratitude magician? Remember, you don't need to wait for big, amazing things to happen to be grateful. Start with the small things. The more you practice, the more you'll find to be grateful for. 
and before you know it, you'll be seeing your whole life through the lens of gratitude. Your spiritual energy will thank you for it. We've talked about how to boost your spiritual energy from within, but now let's explore one of the most powerful external sources of spiritual energy, nature. That's right, Mother Nature herself is like a giant spiritual battery, and all you need to do is plug in. Think about the last time you were in nature. Maybe you were walking in a park, sitting by the ocean, or hiking in the mountains. How did you feel? Chances are, you felt more peaceful, more centered, and more alive. That's because nature has a way of recharging our spiritual batteries like nothing else can. But why is nature so powerful when it comes to spiritual energy? Well, there are a few reasons. First, nature reminds us of our connection to something bigger than ourselves. When you're standing under a starry sky or looking out at a vast ocean, it's hard not to feel a sense of awe and wonder. This feeling of connection is a huge boost to your spiritual energy. Second, nature operates on its own rhythms, free from the hustle and bustle of human life. When we tune into these natural rhythms, we naturally slow down and become more present. And remember, being present is key to spiritual energy. Third, nature engages all our senses the sound of birds singing, the smell of fresh earth, the feel of grass under your feet. All of these sensory experiences help ground us in the present moment and boost our spiritual energy. So, how can you tap into nature's spiritual energy? Here are some simple ways. Take a daily nature walk. Even if it's just for 10 minutes, Try to get outside and connect with nature every day. Pay attention to the trees, the sky, the birds, whatever natural elements are around you. Bring nature indoors. If you can't get outside, bring some nature to you. Get some indoor plants. Open your windows to let in fresh air. Or even just look at pictures of nature scenes. Practice earthing. This involves physically connecting with the earth by walking barefoot on grass, sand, or soil. It might sound a bit odd, but many people find it incredibly grounding and energizing. Watch the sunrise or sunset. There's something magical about these transition times of day. Taking a few minutes to watch the sky change colors can be a powerful spiritual practice. Garden or care for plants. Getting your hands in the soil and nurturing plants can be a deeply spiritual experience. Plus, you get the bonus of fresh herbs or vegetables. Now, I know what some of you city dwellers might be thinking, but I live in a concrete jungle. How can I connect with nature? Don't worry. Even in the most urban environments, Nature finds a way. Look for city parks, rooftop gardens, or even just a single tree on your street. Nature is everywhere if you look for it. As you make connecting with nature a regular part of your life, you might start to notice some amazing benefits. You feel more calm and centered. Your stress levels decrease. You sleep better. You feel more creative and inspired your overall mood improves. All of these are signs that you're tapping into nature's spiritual energy and boosting your own in the process. But here's the really cool part. As you connect more with nature, you might find that your perspective on life starts to shift. You might become more aware of the interconnectedness of all things. You might feel a deeper sense of responsibility to care for the earth. This shift in perspective is a sign that your spiritual energy is expanding beyond just yourself. Remember, connecting with nature 
isn't about having some profound mystical experience, although that can happen. It's about simply being present and open to the natural world around you. It's about remembering that you're a part of nature, not separate from it. So, are you ready to plug into nature's spiritual power station? Remember, you don't need to climb a mountain or swim in the ocean to connect with nature, although if you can, go for it. Start with what's available to you right now. Even a few minutes of cloud watching can be a powerful spiritual practice. Nature is always there, waiting to recharge your spiritual batteries. All you need to do is show up and tune in. Now that we've explored all these powerful ways to increase your spiritual energy, you might be wondering, how do I put all of this into practice? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Let's create a simple, doable plan to boost your spiritual energy every day. Remember, the key here is consistency. It's better to do a little bit every day than to do a lot once in a while. Think of it like watering a plant. A little water every day will help it grow strong and healthy, while a lot of water once a month will probably just drown it. Morning Gratitude As soon as you wake up, before you even get out of bed, Think of three things you're grateful for. Really feel the gratitude in your body. Positive affirmation. Choose a positive affirmation for the day. It could be something like, I am full of energy and enthusiasm, or I attract positivity into my life. Repeat this to yourself several times throughout the day. Mindful moments. Take three mindful minutes throughout your day. Set an alarm on your phone if you need to. During these minutes, just focus on your breath and be present in the moment. Nature Connection Spend at least 10 minutes outside in nature. If you can't get outside, spend some time looking at nature through a window or even looking at pictures of nature scenes. Evening Reflection before bed, think of three good things that happened during your day. They don't have to be big things. Maybe you enjoyed a delicious meal or had a nice conversation with a friend. Bedtime gratitude. End your day the same way you started it, with gratitude. Think of three more things you're grateful for. Now, I know this might seem like a lot at first, but remember, each of these practices only takes a few minutes. All together, they might add up to 30 minutes or so spread throughout your day. That's a small investment for a big return in spiritual energy. As you practice this routine, you might want to add other elements we've discussed. Maybe you want to start a daily meditation practice or spend more time in nature on the weekends. Feel free to adjust and customize this plan to fit your life and what feels good to you. The most important thing is to be consistent and patient. Boosting your spiritual energy is not an overnight process. It's more like tending a garden. You plant the seeds, your practices, water them regularly, consistency, and then watch as beautiful flowers start to bloom in your life. You might not notice big changes right away, and that's okay. Trust the process. Every time you practice gratitude, every time you choose a positive thought, every time you connect with nature, you're adding a drop to your spiritual energy bucket. Over time, those drops add up to create a powerful flow of spiritual energy in your life. And here's something really exciting. As your spiritual energy increases, you might find that these practices become easier and more natural. It's like you're creating a positive spiral. The more spiritual energy you have, the easier it is to do the things that boost your spiritual energy. 
We've covered a lot of ground in this journey to boost your spiritual energy. We've explored the mirror principle and how your inner world reflects in your outer experiences. We've talked about the power of positive thoughts, the importance of mindfulness and meditation, the magic of gratitude, and the rejuvenating effects of connecting with nature. But remember, all of this knowledge is just the beginning. The real magic happens when you put these ideas into practice in your own life. Your journey to higher spiritual energy starts right here, right now, with your very next thought, your very next breath. As you embark on this journey, remember to be kind to yourself. Some days will be easier than others, and that's okay. The goal isn't perfection, it's progress. Every small step you take towards increasing your spiritual energy is a victory worth celebrating. And here's the most exciting part. As your spiritual energy increases, you might start to notice some amazing changes in your life. You might find that you feel more alive and vibrant. You're better able to handle life's challenges. Your relationships improve. You feel more connected to yourself and to the world around you. You have a clearer sense of purpose and direction in life. These are all signs that your spiritual energy is growing and flowing. But don't just take my word for it. Experience it for yourself. So, are you ready to step into a life filled with more energy, more joy, and more purpose? Are you ready to tap into the incredible spiritual power that's been inside you all along? Your journey to higher spiritual energy starts now. And trust me, it's going to be an amazing ride. Remember, you have everything you need within you right now. You are the source of your own spiritual energy. All these practices we've talked about are just tools to help you uncover and amplify the incredible power that's already there. So take a deep breath, smile, and take that first step. Your spiritually energized self is waiting to meet you. Let's go.